guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Random Sparkle, if this is your guys' first time tuning into one of my videos. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you how I pretty much prep and moisturize my face before doing my makeup. So step by step everything that I do before applying. Um, and then you guys can totally use this for after you guys do your makeup. Um, it's basically the same steps. The only thing that I do differently is I take off my makeup before I wash my face. So um, I'm going to show you guys a couple different things that I use to take off my makeup before washing my face. I use these simple makeup face wipes. Um, these are for more sensitive skin. Both of the makeup removers that I'm going to show you are definitely for more sensitive type skin people. Um, and they're all really great options. You can find these at the drugstore, grocery stores, pretty much anywhere carries them. And they are in the $10 range, I guess you could say. And then the second one that I use is this Blum Naturals. And then these ones I do use my um, cotton pads. You could totally use um, a towel if you wanted to, or cotton balls. You can kind of get creative with your options. But yeah. So I just make sure that I take off all of my makeup first so I don't have to wash my face multiple times to get the black off my eyes or things like that since I do have some skin. So basically skin. this is going to be a video of how to prep your face or how to moisturize and take care of your face after doing makeup. So if you guys want to see that, just stay tuned. Definitely make sure you guys like and subscribe so you can get updates for whenever I post my new videos as well as leave any comments if you guys have anything you want to let me know or suggest for new videos or anything like that. But enough rambling, let's get right to it. Here we go guys. Alright, so to start out, if I wake up in the morning and my face is just really dry, I go ahead and wipe down my face with the Say Yes to Coconut Face Wipes, and this just does a really good job at moisturizing. And then I go ahead and let that sit on my face while I brush my teeth. So I just brush my teeth before I wash my face or put my makeup on to make sure that it doesn't make my makeup run or leave any sticky residue on my face. So then after I brush my teeth, I wash my face with my simple gentle exfoliant face wash. And this just does a good job of getting off any dead skin. And if I have any extra, I scrub my nose or whatever area has that dead skin with the towel. Sometimes I'll get the towel a little damp if that need be. And that just leaves your face kind of glowing. And the next I'm using this Indie Beauty Lip Exfoliant. Now lip exfoliant is a really, really important. You do not want crusty lips. And lipstick does tend to dry them out. So what you do is you just grab a little bit of that exfoliant and just rub it right onto your lips. And this is an all natural um, option. I actually got this from my Ipsy um, bag this week and I love it. So I would definitely recommend this. Um, and I will put this in the comment section down below. And then next is this Wish Renewing Mask. And this is also great if you have dead skin and it just sits on your skin for like 30 minutes or 30 seconds. And then next I'm using this Problem Skin Toner. And I use my cotton wipes for this. So I'm just going to spray a couple spritz onto my cotton pad and then what you want to do is you're just going to go in an upward motion all over your face and this is just going to make sure that it takes off any bacteria that may still be on your face it's going to really help um, reduce the um, breakouts that you have and it'll help the appearance of them underneath your makeup so that's another reason why I really like to make sure I do this before applying because it can really just help my skin calm down underneath my skin especially you know if you do have any breakouts or your skin's kind of freaking out that day this is a really great option and you can find this toner and this is um black african soap face toner you can find this at um i think i got it at walgreens or probably any grocery store would have it also and then i just go ahead and let this dry before applying my moisturizer so there is some different options you can use for moisturizers of course i just like to avoid anything that's oil based so this is the shea moisture african black soap so that's the same brand as the toner i used and it says it's for oily skin um and then also 
I love the option of using aloe vera. It is amazing for blemishes and skin that's healing or just sensitive skin in general. And then my all-time favorite moisturizer is the Naked Advanced Alloy Cream. So this is actually based alloy. So the same stuff I showed you before and it's just really great for healing and it's super, super light. And it's just my all-time favorite. I use it in the morning. I use it at night. It's just the best and the least oily that I've probably found so far. So I'm just going to apply this moisturizer literally all over my face and my neck. Moisturizing is probably one of the most important things you can do before putting on makeup. And it's just going to make it so you don't have any dry spots or flakiness. And it will make your makeup almost a hundred times more flawless than if you don't put it on. And then I always, always, always make sure I put on chapstick before I put on my makeup. And this just makes sure that when you do apply your lipstick that you don't have any crusties or flaky lips. And why I put this on at this point is so it can completely soak into my lips by the time I'm ready to put on my lipstick. And then I'm going to go to my primer. So this is Blemish Control Primer from e.l.f. And this is a great option if you have skin that kind of freaks out underneath your makeup. It'll just kind of make sure it stays calm. And then I'm going to show you guys what I do for my big pores. So I'm using my Magic Perfecting Base from L'Oreal. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger here. You don't need a whole lot. And I'm just going to dab right over wherever I have those large pores. And this is just going to fill them and make it so when I put Put my makeup on top it doesn't sink into them and exaggerate them but and that's about the last step that I take before I am completely ready to start applying my concealer and the rest of my makeup um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was somewhat helpful we'll see you on my next video guys bye